Space Engineers has sent us a new social media post, which not only has a new teaser for the next update, but also finally gives this update a name and also reveals to us something even more exciting that we've all been waiting for. So let's take a look at all the new information that has now been revealed. Here is the social media post, and as you can see, it says progress with the robot emoji next to it. Space Engineers is a massive dynamic environment. Pathfinding in a massive dynamic environment. Automatons beta is coming. And below that, we have a video. Let's look at two words. Number one, automatons. It has been confirmed 100% that this is the name for the update coming to the game. It's going to be the automatons update. As I said in my previous video, where we covered leaked screenshots of the new DLC, Grid AI has been the community name for the update, but Automatons will be the official name of it when it is released. However, we're going to get to see it before it releases due to the next word, beta, or as Americans say, beta. I'm sure many of you are aware that a beta is when you get early access to a product to test it before it's actually released. So for example, we know this update is going to be very complicated, so they probably want to give it to players beforehand to test it, make sure everything works, if we find any bugs, report it to them, and hopefully they get resolved before the official release. Now it's been confirmed that this beta will be coming to both PC and Xbox versions, so don't worry Xbox players, you're not being left out this time. And we also know that it is coming soon. However, soon must mean something different in Czech, as it's been coming soon for a while. Regardless, it'd be soon time to experiment with all these new features we're getting. And we've actually had quite a lot of teasers for all the new features that are coming. We've had teasers for hover bikes, we've had teasers for the event controller, we've had teasers for automatic mining, etc, etc. If you've missed any of those and want to get caught up on them, there is an Automatons playlist linked in the top right and in the description below, where you can catch up on everything that's been revealed for this update so far. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to keep up to date with any more news that comes out after this video. But let's move on and take a look at this video linked below the social media post. I'll be playing this video in its entirety at the end of the video, but for now I'm going to highlight the most important parts. Before we even unpause the video, we can see two new blocks on the toolbar below. We know what both of these blocks are. The one on the left is the AI move hyphen flight, which is indicated by the rocket. And in the top right of it, we can also see we have a plus icon. Now the plus icon normally indicates that you can scroll through other blocks. For example, you can see it on the light armor block on the left, and that allows you to scroll through all the different slopes. So presumably this is the inventory version of the AI blocks that you can scroll through all the other AI blocks. Now, as you can imagine, the AI move hyphen flight controls the movement of drones, specifically flying. Now it has options to control the maximum speed of drones. So you can set it anywhere between zero and 100. There's an option to align to P gravity, which is planetary gravity. So basically to make sure that the drone stays upright when it's in a gravity field. And you can also control the minimum altitude, which is how close the drone will fly to the ground. To the right of the AI move block, we have an AI task block, the AI task hyphen basic, which is indicated by the globe in the middle, which has a ring around it and a flag on top. Now we know that the AI task hyphen basic has three functions that it can perform. First one is follow home, which is where you set your drone a home point, whether it be a waypoint or another ship. Yes, ships can be the home of a drone, and that drone will fly to that point, or in the case of a ship, it will follow the ship. There's also follow player, which as you can imagine, is the same principle, except it will follow a player around rather than a ship. And finally, there is autopilot, which is where the drone flies to a waypoint or between waypoints, so a patrol route, for example. Now you'll see shortly when we play the clip, I'm pretty confident that this drone is following a patrol route. The beginning of the patrol route is this GPS marker we can see here, which is 15 meters away from us. And the end of the patrol route is likely one of the two GPS markers we can see over here. Before we play the video in its entirety, they briefly pause during the recording here, and you can see our new DLC icon, which we now know as the Automatons DLC icon. Now we don't know what the name of this DLC will be, potentially Automatons Deluxe, because the economy update came out, and the DLC that came alongside that was called Economy Deluxe. So presumably this will be Automatons Deluxe, but we'll have to wait and see. If we move slightly forward, we can see the big red chip, and around it is surrounded by green X's. My theory is that these green X's are some sort of debugging overlay that you can enable. If you've ever used a gravity generator or a sensor, you might know that in the settings you can enable the radius of them to show where the sensor is detecting things and where the gravity generator is affecting with gravity. And I imagine this is something similar. As you play on the video, you can see that the drone is following the path of these blue crosses that seem to overlay with the green crosses. So my guess would be the green crosses are all the spaces where the drone can fly. The blue crosses are the path that the drone has decided to take. And then we have the orbs that we can see here that have used written in them. And my guess would be that these orbs appear on a blue cross to make sure that there is enough space for the ship to fly through. The orb is roughly the size of the ship. We can see that one of the orbs would encapsulate the ship in its entirety. Presumably, these orbs indicate to the drone that there is enough space here to fly, so carry on. The most impressive part of this, in my opinion, is when we get inside of the ship and we can see that the drone is fully capable of flying through a one by one gap. Sure, it does do a little bump through the gap, but this is much better than I could fly in this small space, let me tell you. 
It's too late now, guys. It won't be long before AI completely replaces me in my entirety. After it flies through the gap, it flies a little bit longer until it gets to its destination, and then it turns around. Now, briefly for a second after it turns around, we can see the two AI blocks on it. These appear to be, once again, the AI Move hyphen Flight and the AI Task Basic, and we can see that the light on them is blue. Now, from the past, we've learned that they're blue when they're active, which obviously they are because the AI is moving. Once again, the drone flies back and through the one by one gap, and it continues its route outside of the ship. Momentarily, we'll get a much better look of the AI blocks on the side of the ship. We can see the rocket on the right hand side, and on the left hand side, we can see the globe with the ring around it. There's not any other new blocks that I can see on this little drone. Obviously, this is just a demo of the pathfinding of the drone, but it's cool that we can see them nonetheless. At this angle, we get a much better look at the little line that shoots off the drone towards the pathfinding orbs. You can see it fires a couple of times every second, and when it fires, the drone kind of turns to face the orbs. And it continues to fire this line, getting to each of the waypoint orbs, until eventually it reaches the GPS coordinates it started at, and then it starts its route all over again. So, what's going on here? The green crosses appear to be locked to the big red ship, and there are also green crosses around the drone as well. Like I said earlier, this appears to be some sort of debug interface. Whether we have access to it as players or it's a developer thing, we don't know. Regardless, it appears to show the calculations the drones do to work out their pathfinding. So there is a GPS marker outside the ship and a GPS marker inside the ship, and the drone is set to autopilot, which means it has to patrol between the two different points. The AI calculates the shortest route between the two GPS coordinates, marks the crosses on the shortest route in blue, and then it places down the waypoint orbs to make sure there is enough space for the drone to get through. Presumably, if there's not enough space for it to get through, it would generate a new route for it to travel. Once it has a successful route, the drone then flies to each of the waypoint orbs until it gets to its objective, at which point it turns around and flies all the way back. Now, we haven't seen the full extent of the autopilot function for drones yet, so potentially you could use this to fly backwards and forwards between more things than just GPS coordinates, potentially flying backwards and forwards between ships or players. We'll have to wait and see. But hopefully this time, we won't have to wait as long to see. So, automatons, are you excited? Will you be participating in the beta? Let me know with a comment below. And as always, like and subscribe for more Space Engineers content.